Turning to the weather now, we really had a beautiful Mother's Day in Western Pennsylvania. Today was just a nice bonus, too. Yeah, I mean, to today, it. I think even a, a little bit better than, than yesterday. A little the bit. Monday after Mother's Day. Oh, let me tell you, um, if you have the KDK app, the yeah. CBS News Pittsburgh app, you can stream this newscast live and go sit on the porch and watch it out there in this oh. beautiful weather. Just a, just one of the features of the app. It comes with nice weather. Mm -hmm. it, it, and it look does. At all those beautiful flowers that we got over the weekend too, right? No, it's it's just a, a perfect way to to get your news and enjoy the weather all at the same time. But a uh, beautiful day. If you can't if you can't go out to the porch, look at this shot. This is on Mount Washington, looking towards downtown. You see the Mon in the foreground, the Allegheny River on the left side of your screen, and just beautiful weather all around. And I think that's going to stick. Temperatures right now are in the mid 70s. We have those northwesterly winds at nine. And when your winds are coming out of the north, typically they're drier. And that's why this breeze is sort of refreshing or at least feeling a little cool because there's not much humidity associated with it or relative humidities at 24%. Temperatures are in the mid 70s, almost area wide, bright sunshine all across the region, and it is very, very comfortable. Now tonight's temperatures will settle into the mid to upper 40s in most spots. Typically we'd be around 50, so this isn't far off the mark, but a, a little cool. So that's a sort of a chilly night. And then tomorrow we'll get those temperatures back into to the 70s, a little warmer up to the north than many of the communities to the south, and it's usually the opposite of this, but we're going to see a system coming in from the south that is going to bring in some rain, and it is going to eventually have an impact on our temperatures for Wednesday and Thursday morning. Thursday morning could actually come with some frosty spots, especially north of town. So that's one of the things we're going to be watching for midweek, but look what we're dealing with here. The clouds, the showers, they're going to inch in from the south. And the way this system cuts in, it's actually going to keep most of the rain at Pittsburgh and south. Now, a couple sprinkles could get a little further north than that. But watch how this rain comes in. Tomorrow morning, we see the clouds starting to come into play. The showers start to develop, especially once we get into the afternoon. But most of this activity looks south of Pittsburgh. So most of us are actually going to end up with a dry day. It's just a few showers around. That moves out. We're getting right back into the the sunshine Tuesday and even Wednesday for that matter. But Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, that is where temperatures are going to be cold enough. The skies are going to be clear enough and the winds are going to be calm enough. That area is north of Pittsburgh. I wouldn't rule out frost. There's no advisories or anything like that right now. But as you're getting to Butler and Clarion and Newcastle, even Indiana, temperatures are going to be down into the mid 30s. So we're getting to that that frost a zone and uh, stay tuned for that as uh, we get into the next couple days and we'll, we'll keep a track on those temperatures. But if you did any Mother's Day planting, just know you might have some shower, uh, some, I should say some frost to contend with a little later on this week, but not tonight. Mostly clear, chilly, 48 degrees. Tomorrow, the clouds are going to increase and we'll see a few showers again south of Pittsburgh. The best shot 72 for that high temperature in the next seven days. We have this beautiful weather for most of it. We get back into the sunshine Wednesday, Thursday, Friday into Saturday, another batch of rain. But I think early next week, we're talking Sunday, Monday, back to the low 70s and back to some brighter conditions.